everybody I'm here today with a driving tutorial on speed and stopping distances this driving tutorial will have some examples as well so please pay attention so on this sheet of paper right here I've written down many examples of the different speeds that you can be driving and the different stopping distances that are required for that speed okay so let me go over the examples and I'll tell you why it's so important to understand this now these examples are based on an average car with average braking power okay so basically this is what it looks like if your speed is 20 miles an hour your thinking distance will be six meters it'll take you six meters to figure out that you need to brake and then your stopping distance will also be six meters if your speed is 30 miles an hour your thinking distance will be nine meters and your stopping distance now goes up to 14 meters 40 miles an hour is 12 meters thinking 24 meters stopping 50 miles an hour 15 meters thinking 38 meters stopping 60 miles an hour now we're talking about highway speeds here 18 meters thinking 55 meters stopping 70 miles an hour 21 meters to think about braking to decide to brake 75 meters to stop the car okay now this these lines represent you know the stopping distance at various speeds so obviously at a low speed you can stop quickly but when you get to higher speed it takes much longer to stop now why do you need to know that well basically the faster that you go the longer that it will take you in terms of distance to actually think about braking and the longer that it will take you to actually stop the car so with that being said that's why we need to keep our following distance at a great distance that's why we also need to look far ahead because if i'm driving 20 miles an hour i can look this far ahead beyond the car not not in reality but as an example relative wise this far ahead if i'm driving 50 miles an hour i need to look this far ahead so you need to look further ahead because it actually takes you longer more distance i should say to actually think about coming to a stop and then more distance to actually bring the car to a stop now obviously if you have better brakes or a sportier vehicle you can stop faster but you should still keep a good amount of distance simply because it's still dangerous okay so with that being said you know also the road conditions i should mention this the road conditions and weather conditions um play a role in this so your stopping distance are multiplied by two when it's raining so if it's wet on the ground if it's raining all of these numbers for stopping distances get multiplied by two meaning 75 meters for stopping at 70 miles an hour is now 150 meters okay now listen to this when you're driving on icy roads the stopping distances get multiplied by 10 that means if you're driving at 70 miles an hour and you want to come to a complete stop it's no longer 75 meters it's now 750 meters on ice to come to a stop that is also why we need to massively adjust our driving according to the weather conditions and road conditions if you encounter rainy roads or icy roads or wet roads or hail fog whatever the case is the sun is shining in your eyes whatever the case is you need to adjust your driving because your thinking distance might not change necessarily but your stopping distance will that's it that is my simple driving tutorial with examples on speed and stopping distances if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching